take pride in doing it. Once that happens, now you can go forward and start playing some defense. JR, his first shot of the game, he scores. Went down anyway, it was also a goal tip. Good to see him come out of the locker room with something on his mind. He did a good job, Fred, of not JR for three. JR come out of the locker room saying it's time for me to change this game. And be more aggressive, looking for his shot, so he comes out and it's the first five points of this third quarter. And he gets it to go. They are starting to get his little rhythm going now. So he's hit three field goals after not shooting in the first half. 81 72. Got it again. Whoa. He's going. He's got nine in the quarter. Might be the, what the Cavs have been looking for. Somebody that they can play off of. The team. JR pulls the trigger. The bottom for three. JR Swish is his name. Timeout Denver. He has come to play in the second half. JR is deep in the queue against Plumber. Sends it. The bottom! J.R. Smith. He put him on rocker heels. 110, 108. He has arrived in the second half. All 14 of his points have come since he missed him. Which way did he go? That's where he went. Mason Plumlin looking for an Ohio license plate. He shot in the first half. And looked like normal J.R. here in the third and fourth quarter. You're right. And, uh, and what I like the fact that he's not waiting for the ball to come to him. He get, he's getting the ball, he's attacking, using what God has given him. That's the ability to shoot on the dribble or catch and shoot. So the one-time Denver Nugget, who played, of course, under George Carr. Oh, by Millsap, tried to lose it. Keeps that live dribble going, and he draws the foul. Fourteen foul on the Nuggets in the quarter. Nuggets foul on the fourth, Paul Millsap. Let's go back to the uh, bumping in the stop. knees. And Problem is the Cavs only began the night a game ahead of Washington and a game and a half better than Indiana.